Hey beauties, it's D Beauty here, also known as Shy Haze, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I do my eyebrows at home, so definitely stay tuned if you like how they look right now. I don't have any products on. I'm actually in the middle of doing my foundation right now, so I just thought I'd make an intro for this video. Yeah, just definitely stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe. If you like the video, make sure you like it. And leave a comment on what you want to see next or if you just like this tutorial in general. So I'll show you guys what you need to do in order to do your eyebrows at home. And this is without waxing. And if you do want to see a video of me waxing my eyebrows at home, let me know and I'll do that as well. But this is how they look. Yeah, so definitely stay tuned. I'm using olive oil satin gel by Softy. It, I don't even remember the price. I think it was like four dollars. I'm also using a Huggies and a spoolie as well as a eyebrow razor. I'm showing you guys how my eyebrows look. I haven't got them professionally done in years, but I haven't done it myself in a couple of weeks, three weeks. I'm using a baby wipe to just remove any oils or any lotions and creams off my eyebrows. Now to start with the gel, I'm going to place it on both eyebrows and I'm really going to saturate it so it's not dry and it's going to be easier to work with. The gel is going to help your eyebrows stay in place while you're uh, getting the shape that you need. Make sure to clean your razor first with alcohol or with a wipe. I'm pulling my skin gently back and I'm just going to start at the top of my brow and bring it down slowly until I get the shape that I desire. If your eyebrows do not have a natural arch such as mine, you can use a white eyeliner pencil to create the shape that you want and then as a guideline and then just go in with the razor to get what you need. I'm taking a tip of the razor and I'm gently going underneath my arch and the tail of my brow. Don't forget to clean off your eyebrow razor every time you use it just so you can get a really clean sharp look. I'm showing you guys the before and after. Look how, look at the difference I have already. You want to repeat the same steps on your other eyebrow. Make sure to keep checking back and forth to make sure that your eyebrows are looking similar. They won't look the same, but they definitely look similar if you take your time and do it correctly. As you can see, I'm having a little trouble getting that last eyebrow. So I'm wiping off all the gel because that just means the gel had dried and I'm going to apply another layer which is going to make it really easy for me to shape it up. Before I apply the other gel, I like to just comb through my eyebrows with a spoolie just to make sure everything is looking good and then I will apply the gel.
So once you're done, make sure you wipe off all the excess gel and this is how your eyebrow should look. As you can see, I took off a lot of hair, but I still have enough on there for me to use for when I'm doing my eyebrows. What I'm doing now is trimming them. I'm brushing all of the hair up in a straight motion. Some people use scissors for this part, but I'd rather use my eyebrow razor. After every step, you want to make sure you use your spoolie. This is how you're going to get the perfect look. Every time you brush it, you can see which hair is out of place, which hair needs to be plucked or shaved. And this is the finished look, you guys. Really hope you enjoy. Make sure you thumbs up if you did enjoy. Leave a comment. Also, subscribe. And don't forget to add me on Instagram at dbeautyforever. Later.